What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great week so far. This, to me, is probably one of the most smoking gun photos out there that there was intelligent life on Mars. No doubt about it. It's literally in plain sight. There's not a whole lot you can do. However, there are some things that are hidden. I want to get into that right now. What we're going to be talking about is going back to an earlier Sol, Sol 173. Let's jump into that. This is it right here, and you can see it up at the top. Mars, JPL, NASA, Gov, and it's the MSL, of course, the Curiosity Rover. And, of course, it says right here, 173, and it is the mass cam. Okay. Now, I also want you guys to watch this thing to the end because I've got something about this photo that's going to blow your mind and have you scratching your head after. So, the first time I've seen this photo, there's a good friend of mine, Michael Witter, that was doing this. And he did this, and I believe, in, I think it was like six years ago. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, you can see right here, it says May 19th, uh, 2013. So, we're talking six years ago, right? Almost seven, right? Um, and you can see NASA latest. Alien technology found with a question mark. Now, some of these people, when you read some of the comments, because he no longer does these videos. In fact, I think his last one was in 2015. Okay. Um, some people will dog him, thinking he was a nutter. Here's the thing. Picture it now. People have come a long way. They've opened their minds up, right? Um, so I understand that. You know, back then, six years ago, maybe not so much. So you can understand probably why you would have got more ridicule than anybody else doing them today. Even though we do get ridiculed, which doesn't matter to me, you know, people are going to have the difference in opinion, right? Anyway, so he, he does this video. He does a great job. You guys will get the link to it, as always. Uh, check it out. And right off the bat, guys, this area right here, this black box with this silver end, right? Now, let me go ahead and make this a little bit larger. So you can see it has what looks like the silver end and the black side to it. At least that's the way it looks like to me, right? Now, what blew my mind is the other objects to the right and to the back side of this thing. This, what looks like this weird hood. And you're going to see what I mean. Almost like, if you could picture like a jet engine, right? You got the round piece. Just look at it, you know, if they stand directly behind, you got a round piece. But it has what it looks like this hood coming up and over the sides and on the top of that engine, said engine, with the actual engine, you know, obviously exhaust. Um, right here. And I'm going to show you there's a whole lot clearer. It looks like there's a hole here. Hole here. What is this on top here? What is that? And to boot, we've got a mechanical mechanism sitting right here. And you can just about see it right there. It's outlined here, coming down. All right, without further ado, let's jump into this. All right, here's the photo right here. This is what it was when we started. Add some pixels to it, blow it up for you guys. Now let's jump right into this thing because this is absolutely awesome. All right. When I looked at this, I'm saying, man, he's, he's right, man. He's got this weird box right here. What the hell? And it has that weird design. See it right there? And then it has what looks like a black side to it or whatever that may be right here. But the first thing I noticed was, since when is a rock look like it has a cockpit? Look at this weird thing. You see what they really took it out? See this right here? But it looks like it has this area right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in red. When I looked at this, I said, okay... We're just going to go over it smoothly. We don't have to go over it, like, perfectly. But it does, looks like it does this. Let me just go over this smoothly. Now, I believe a lot of this has been scribbled out. But what I noticed was this right here. It kind of goes like this. Goes like this here. And goes back up. And you'll see that a little bit bigger. So, wait a minute. What the hell kind of rock does that? Also, notice, take notice of this area down here. It's completely been fudged out. Now, when I show you this after, this is, this is mind-blowing. Oh, let's jump out of that. Just back up a little bit. Now, let's get rid of all this puke color. Brighten up a bit. Check this out. What kind of rock does that? Right there. Okay, and this box right here, which you did a good call on that. And you guys can check it out with your magnifiers or whatever so it's not too grainy. Okay. Now, let me show you what I found. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to outline it. I'm going to keep it just like this. There's your original. And we're going to outline it without changing the colors or anything. And I want to show you what I what I found, or at least we're going to focus on. Okay. Look at these items right here, which I've pointed out already. We've already looked at. This object right here, like I said, it looks like this body, this yellow body of this thing right here, whatever this is sloping down, does this and goes like this. Okay. And you can see it's pretty darn big. It does this here and goes actually slopes down, right? But it looks like this weird engine type thing right here where it's got this hood and you can see the yellow pot comes down. There's the top of it. If you were to stand directly behind this, you would see our complete hole. You can see this right here, right? You can see that it's got this little bit of an arch 
right there, but you're only seeing on, on an angle. If you were to back up and go around this thing and look behind it, you would see this probably be a full circle like this here with this hood over it. Okay, and what it has like these small holes or vents or whatever that may be. Okay, now let me show you that back with the original. See that right there? There's one right there. It looks elongated. It's kind of like oval. And just at the very bottom, you can see another one right there. This is doing this. Much more rounded than that, but you get the idea. Goes like this. And we have what looks like this piece here. And it goes right down there and have this like quarter round circle. What the hell is that? And why is it on this so-called rock down here? Like I said, this thing goes all the way back. Now, do you see that mechanism I was just telling you about right there? I'm going to show you the lines of this a little bit better. This looks like it goes around like this, almost like it's, it goes in the, around like this in the back, but and has these two pivot pin thing. And it also looks like it does this. Look at the lines. It looks like this thing actually goes up like this, like that there. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to bring that down for you guys. You guys will see it a lot better. Also, take note of this here, this object right here. See the way that's doing that? It has that shape. Now let's take the color off like we just did here. Back up a little bit. Now let's bring down the brightness a little bit so we can really check this stuff out. Now, here's that mechanism. What is that? Again, this hood pot right here. This so-called rock, clearly that's not a rock. Now, look at the objects that came out right down here. Okay? And there's much more of it, guys. But look at this. You have this round piece like this. Well, it looks like it stops right there. It has a piece that comes up like this. Goes over like that. Okay? So, in other words, there's height to this. Now, some people scoffed at it. it very few. But some of them did on my last video where I said everything that was highly exposed on these flat rocks... There's objects on them. This is the reason why they highly contrast this. Look at it. Let's back out. You see how like this whole area, including down here on the right? That's just the way they do it. That's the way they hide these things. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can even see this. I'm going to let you guys see if you can find it. There's an object on this rock in this area right here. I can see it. It's outlined right here. Without having to do this. Something similar to that there. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, nothing there. Let's continue on. There you go. Do you see it now? Starting to pop out. Okay. There's more objects here, but I couldn't bring these out. See it? It's right there. Now, what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back to the original photo. Look for the lines you see here right now. Like this going like this. One looks like it's coming down like this. Just have a look. Watch this. They're there. They're right there. And it's literally standing up out of this rock. See it? It's right there. Right in front of your face. Same thing with this area here. Let me show you something, guys. We're going to use the mid-tones. Watch this. All we got to do is go like this. I'm not going to draw this stuff in. I'm just going to use the, the dodge tool. Go to use the mid-tones. And this stuff pops right out, guys. I'm just going to just click it in. I'm going to do it real quick. This is not normally how, I, how fast I do this. But you can see objects suddenly popping out of this. That's it. See this? I'm not doing anything. This, all I'm doing is using the dodge tool, and we're bringing out lines and, and features in this so-called flat ground that you wouldn't you wouldn't see normally. See this? Now we've got... We went from this right here, and you can see them lines are there. They're, in fact, there to this. Notice these objects suddenly now right here. We've got something right here that looks like it has a black band or something on it right there. It's got this kind of strip type thing on it. This goes down. 
almost like they, they like this is rounded kind of thing. You can see it like a little line right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. So I'm not sure if this this box or whatever this may be. I don't know if it's part of what's laying on the ground here. I don't know. Let me just pull back just a little bit. You guys can have a look. There you are. Let's go. Let's keep going with this. Again, here's those objects right here on the upper left corner. There you go. And again, we've got this mechanism right here, right there. Keep going. So we can bring up more of it. Look at this. What are you guys kidding me? Again, nothing there to see. But when you look at this photo stock, you can see the stuff. Look at, look at the lines that they literally try to take out of there. They literally redacted the information out of this. It almost looks like you can see like it going down like this. And guys, I don't have to do anything. There it is. I can see it myself without having to even enhance this. I saw this. This is the reason why I enhanced it to begin with. Of course, that's not very straight or rounded, rather. It should be curved, right? Right there. And it kind of looks like it does this. And it goes like that there. Guys, come on. You can see the information has been redacted right in this area alone. Why are they doing that? Because there's things to be seen in here, and they don't want you to see it. This object. Now, I showed it to a buddy of mine. He goes, I said, what do you think this is right here on the top? He said, dude, what, what the hell is it? It's almost like a, a Martian version of a, a vertible car. And I didn't think of it until he said that. You got the windshield, or windscreen, as you guys like to call it in the UK, right here. You can see it doing this. So in front of this. Right here. You see your car being up on a lift. You're looking up and at it. And you can see the bottom of it here. And the way this thing goes, you can see it like this. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. But there it is. So it's almost like this is the side here. The front here. If we would have put like a line right here. Because I'm not sure there was. I could actually see one or not. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, but those holes are there. Right here. And I'll show you them a little bit better in a second. Um... It almost looks like this is the wind windscreen. Again, picture your car up on the lift. If you had a convertible, you'd see just the side or the frame of that windshield, but you wouldn't see the whole thing. And it almost looked like some kind of weird space Martian car. Is it? I'm not saying it is. Oh, it's got like these little areas right here. Or they this weird kind of vents kind of thing. As you can see, one going like this. Another one here. Another one here. It's got this weird design or whatever the hell this thing is on it. Not sure what to make of that. But, guys, what the hell does this? Now, we try to bring this down as much as possible. Check this mechanism out now. Look at this, like, roundish ring type thing underneath with this other hole. Again, we've got this mechanism here. Goes down. It's a little bit more well-defined now. Small circles. Got this line right here what the hell is this stuff guys as i said this is the most profound photo i've seen that is absolutely mechanical you will not find this in nature you will not find this box in nature nor will you find it of rock what looks like it's got a small cockpit to it <laughs> i mean come on guys look at this this here i'm gonna show you that up close again there it is and again it's right there okay here's another cool thing let me go like this. I don't know when you guys, when's the last time you guys seen a rock with a wheel on it? At least that's what it looks like, right? Let me go down here for a second. This right here. It's either something mechanical and they made it look like a simple rock. Look at the way this thing does this. See that? Black round and then it has an inner white circle. See that? Seriously, guys, what does that? It's right there. What does that? And again, we have all this whited out area. Now, I did my best to try to bring that down, but it looks like they're using a pattern. Like, they're just going like this, and they're just coloring it in. That's what it looks like to me. Like, they're sloppily just doing, like, a, a, a like a, they're drawing over the items, and then they're just kind of just putting a pattern on it. That's what it looks like to me. There are other things in this photo as well. Got this right here. Not sure what to make of that. Okay, something right here, some kind of weird design type thing. Let's brighten that up a little bit, see what we can see. There you go. And again, this is just regular colors, guys. This is the real color right here. And I promise you, there's a lot more in this photo to see. There it is right there, guys. There it is. Like I said, you got to look at these photos. This crap right here, 
with all of this right here, when you start to see anything that's been exposed in certain areas, like this here, notice how that's super exposed? Look at this. Down like that, mm, not so much. You try to take the color off, what happens? It becomes super exposed. That's because it's something they're trying to hide there. And when you bring it down, suddenly this stuff becomes evident that this is mechanical parts on Mars. All right, guys. Now, let me show you what I was talking about when I said I have something very interesting to show you guys about this photo. Let's go back here. Now, I got a hold of my buddy uh, Neville Thompson because I know he's done a uh, gigapan on this particular photo, right? So I said, can you tell me uh, if you got this? Can you give me a link to it? He did. Because I want to show you this. Um, are you guys ready for this? Okay. There it is. Let's pan out. Here's that little supposed rock, what looks like a little freaking wheel or whatever on it. See it? Some small piece that looks unnatural. See it? Okay. Now, let's continue to pan out. There you go, guys. You can see the rover right here on the right. Okay. Where the pieces go? That's right. Let's have a look. Let's go back in. Right here. And there they are. Right here. Now, does that not blow your mind? Or two things came to my mind. Are these toys? Or are they really tiny Martians on this planet? And these are whatever they are. Vehicles, tools. Either these things are toys for larger Martians. Or the Martians are in, in fact small, which a lot of people have claimed that. I can't vet that, but it's an interesting theory. And if you were to walk over to this stuff, look at this. These things are not more than five inches, six inches in length. Look at that. And again, we'll go ahead and make the screen bigger. Like I said, guys, be the judge. Tell me what you think. Again, guys, this is probably one of the most profound photos that I've seen compared to any other Martian photo out there. This one here, boom, did it for me back in the day when I started watching what from promotes up in the sky, as well as Michael Witter and doing stuff like this. This is what made me want to do these photos more and more and then start to do the videos. Anyway, guys, be the judge. Let me know what you guys think. This, to me, like I said, was insane. These photos back in the day were not trashy like they are today, although they had that weird way they'd soften or make the rocks look all soft and rounded and everything else. I think they've gotten into a lot more... Uh, deeper stuff, meaning a lot more things laying on the surface. And this is the reason why they really have to doctrine these photos up. I mean, big time, right? Um, but check out that photo I just showed you, and I'll give you the link to the pan as well, and have a look at that stuff. Just have a real close look to st certain things just sticking out of the sand and, you know, things that's supposed to look like rocks do not. Anyway, you guys be the judge as usual. Don't forget to comment. Throw your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Please like and definitely share this video. People need to see this stuff. This is the real deal right here, guys. No doubt about it. And a big thanks goes to Michael Witter for also doing this video a while back. You'll get the link to his channel as well as that, that video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.